Well, alright, hello YouTube, Lambert as well, boy5699, and welcome back to Doki Doki Blue Skies. We're picking up where we left off on the last episode, was a little bit, we walked home with you, and here was a little dance about that, so I'm not sure how that's going to play out in this episode, but we'll see as we go. Uh, feeling refreshed after a little decent sleep, decent night's sleep, but personally waiting for CR. The winter chill has really no mercy, especially this early in the morning. Thankfully, CR isn't practically late, though before I know, we're on the way to school. Hey, Colton. Oh, yes, thank you, CR. How can it be a CR in this final winter morning? I was curious. Huh. Who's your favorite club member? You? Not including you, huh? I don't really have any, to be honest. None of them are as awesome as you! Come on, you gotta like one more than the other. I never my eye was supposed to question coming from. Why the sound interest? I <laughs> just wanted to know how well you get along with the others. Hmm. Definitely not not to keep for obvious reasons. Hmm hmm. I never got the feeling she likes me, plus it's always awkward when it's just the two of us. I spoke to her alone last night and it was a painful experience. What about Monica? Compared to Natsuki, we definitely get along a lot better. She looks super appreciative when I told her how much I liked the club before, just before we performed. But to be honest, she's been a little intimidating. I nervous to scratch the back of my head. You know, before being the perfect student at all, maybe I'm imagining that sometimes we get the impression she might look down on me. Don't get me wrong, I definitely appreciate all of our hard work for the club and all. Much like Natsuki, we never spend much time together, so I really can't wear really decisions my favorite either. So what about Yuri? Unless I'm mistaken, she was really trying to hard isn't working practically well. Well... Yeah, I'd probably say, say her. I'd probably say her. I mean, I've gotten to know a little bit more than the last semester. She went from somebody who would barely maintain eye talk at me to someone who agreed to go shout at me just like it was just a... I enjoy seeing her come out of her shell, allowing me to go well early, I guess. Okay, that's what I thought. Sorry, everything okay? I know she left kind of abruptly last night when we talked about your... Did you guys have an argument or something? I can't imagine those two having to fall out. People, it's really rare to see her get angry along with the other face person who don't clash at all. So what could it be? Oh, of course not, Tilly. I was just a bit surprised at how she found she'd be with you necessarily, that's all. Given how she she is, I'm curious to, um, I was just a bit surprised at all. Right. School is limited outside, unfortunately, the conversation had it in here. So, can you tell me when the 1930s was a very important year of history? It was when Hitler became fearless? Countries across the continent were experiencing significant change, both supposedly so soon. Now I made a New Year's resolution to end my lesson before the bell rang, so, well, we'll call it there. How about the way, can I have a word call? No! I swear to God, this must be one of the scariest words I'm gonna do. I'm gonna die! No, I can't! Well, well, along with I'm pregnant, we have to talk. Along with I'm pregnant, we have to talk. It's not you, it's me. Hopefully, the, I won't, the things I won't hear from CR. Especially that second one. Eek. I, pre, I approached the front dad above and to the side. I need to give the results of your exam, so here they are. Oh, well, I need you to give me that. Okay, and I need to get this on the list. Hey, folks, a piece of paper in the lowest voice that some of the students are eating in their body. Eating? You don't have to look at them. You don't have to look like you've seen a ghost. My mom wanted back to October Bunny to mention ghost. <laughs> For the most part, you've done well. Whew! Grades are history, Japanese, and English are mentally satisfactory. Looks like being on the literature club has really helped, huh? How did you know about that? Call me, please. I'm a wise old owl. I'm only 27. Aren't you the youngest teacher in the school? One of the youngest teachers in size dramatically. You can never let me have that fun, can you? Although your grades and the other subjects can be a little better, mainly math and physics. It's not a cause for concern, but I know you can do better. Ah, uh, about that, you be told last semester was kind of hectic. Our uh, relationship stuff? Siori, how'd you know? Or, uh, his eyes twinkled on his mouth. Anyway, you're a bright student, well, when you want to be, so breathe a sigh of relief. And I recommend paying attention to the technical stuff for math and physics especially. And don't be afraid to ask for help when it's needed, not everyone. Can't excel at everything, but he had faith in the ability to bring the grades up. Thanks, sir. The past few months weren't easy. Relationships were tricky. So I'm glad I was able to handle act. So I was able to keep up. So I'm glad I was able to keep academically up with it. He paused to study me often with a true smile. Of course. Just be careful not to make Sierra jealous. From what I've seen, the literature club is full of girls. He chuckles to himself. Now I've got. Now I got to go to a meeting and I'm prepared to be interested. In. There really is no rest for the wicked. Even then, I turns to leave. I turn to follow him. Our brains keep replying words out of me. Just be careful not to make Sierra jealous. Hmm. Finally, my phone, I noticed a text from Monica sent all the club members in the group chat. Hey guys, just been told the club room is being used after school today. It's more super rigid system to all the grades that you're about to do. Game grades plus something super important popped up, which means that I can't make it. I'll do the best to rearrange it. Sorry, guys. Damn! I've been able to reply with the auto while I'm auto playing my brain from mainly my eyes. I can see it coming. So, I'm sorry, start, starts the conversation. So, my teacher gave my exam results back. Oh, yeah, I can't really complain, I guess. I did much better than I thought we did for biology, but physics was a bit of a nightmare. My math wasn't great either. 
My whole, by the, by the whole thing, I think I've done okay. Sorry, jealous of Yuri. The air bubble was pushing along with the class talking to you, so roll the silence. The silence will grow as heavy or really attack from my post. What makes you think that? You're my girlfriend, and I've known you for years. What would you have to be jealous of? She tries to send cover the angels, but the weird of voice gives away. I don't know that I would spend time together at the Christmas shop and before walking home with me yesterday. Sorry turns away, so I can't read the expression on her face when she replies, talking, she's talking to the ground. I'm sorry, Colton, it's just you seem happy with her. We're friends, we're just friends, Siri. I would I would have thought you could see that. So if you don't you trust me? I'm not sure I want to hear the answer. It's not that I don't trust you, it's just that I'm trying to believe that I'm worth your time and I hear about you's your favorite member of the club and I and you enjoy seeing her come out of her shelf. So that's why she's at, so that's why she was asking me. It all makes sense first through depression and now jealousy. And when I asked why you were one of the walk home, you you said you can tell me because of a personal. I mentally smacked myself looking back at the answer must have sound suspicious. I'm really sorry I didn't mean it sound like a daddy or anything. Siori and I settled into my house once for comfortable. I continued to press her. No, Siori, it's not your fault. I really don't see it from your I didn't really see it from perspective at all. Please believe me when I said that you're the only one I want. Yuri is a great friend, but that's it. The feelings I have for her are from a different, always been pla planked on it. I wrap her up and she starts to let her struggle. She cleans my hand and face with my blazer. I'm the one who should be apologizing. I'm just, well, not totally new to the relationship, so I don't have a clue what I'm doing. It's okay. It's okay. I didn't think you were doing it to hurt me or anything. Okay, good, because I never want to hurt you. I've been such an idiot. Yuri's been feeling really lonely recently. I really feel sorry. On what Yuri told me yesterday, I'm not truly really sure how she'd be feeling for this, but at this point in time, I'm much more concerned with the complex line between Siori and I. Oh, so that's why. It makes a whole lot of sense thinking about it. Although I can't help a thing. She looked down on the ground again, earthly biting her lip. I can't help but fear Yuri likes you, Colton. Really? You can be really dense sometimes. That's a sad playfulness tone to her. Yeah, she's really trying to spend more time with you. She really appreciates your company. It's a subtle, but I can't tell by the way she looks at you. I think she's getting really attached really quickly. But she said... She knew we once we, we were together, I didn't want to intrude or anything. Siori, maybe I was right then. About what? Maybe you're just maybe me just dragging you down. What can I what can I even give you that to you that Yuri can? You said yourself, she's lonely and she wants and she was with you and then she'd be happy. She's smart, really pretty, and really intelligent. What am I? I'm just an area I can't even find the time to get ready in the morning. I'm just dead way to you. You're so much more than that, Siori, even even if Yuri was the most desirable girl on the planet, I wouldn't give a damn because you're the only person I want. You know something? When I was walking with Yuri yesterday, I couldn't even help but I wish I it was with you. I was the only. It was the only one time we didn't walk together, but the one time I needed how much I enjoyed walking home with you. So what if you can't find the time to get ready in the morning? You're still beautiful even when you don't try. Oh, Cole, you're just saying that though. I swear on my life, I'm being 100% genuine. These are things I've always wanted to say to you, but never really know how. And that's not all. I wake up every day to feel so goddamn lucky knowing you're my girlfriend. You've always been there for me when I, when I needed it most. I don't think I've ever told you how happy you make me. I pull her close and she can I can't see the urge to touch, but it's a loss of describe how she feels the whole in the moment. I don't really care about care about intel elegant Yuri. If I'm being honest, that's her who she is. I'm looking for a quirk in this and how silly we can be together. We have we have that length and no other girl you could say that we have. We really do have a history together, don't we? A history that I wouldn't trade for anything. Colton? Mm-hmm. Please don't leave me. I know I'm being selfish for asking. You're not. I'm still. It's still so confusing. But when I'm with you, I feel warm inside, and I think, well, just for a moment, that everything will be okay. I can't really understand why you care so much about me, but I still, well, I trust you. I'm glad, Siri. I really am. But if I'm being honest, she looks at me. We can't do this alone. I think we should get. We, I think we should look into you getting some therapy. She looks away. I obviously. I'll be here, but I'm not a normal teenage guy. There's so much I can only I can do. I don't know. Why not? It's just really scary, though. I don't want to go through it, and I'll have all hopes again. Again, I've tried therapy and antidepressants before, Colton. Back when I was first diagnosed with depression. Everyone told me it worked. They told me I would feel okay again, but that never happened. It was much younger back then. Everything was tired and scary and confusing. All those tales, all the questions, the drugs. I didn't know what was wrong with me. The whole thing was terrifying. What I'd give to be a medical professional right now. Well, sorry, I had no idea. I wouldn't have expected you to know. Would you believe me if I said that things were different this time around? And how much would you know that? I wouldn't, at least for sure. But if I know, but I, we leave this unchecked, how, how things will ever change. I know it must be really hard for me, but believe me, I can only imagine what we're, go, we're going through. And I totally 
get why you're reluctant to try this again. But I promise that this time I'll be there. You wouldn't have to go through it alone. I squeeze your hand. Well, we'll get through this together, remember? But what if it doesn't work again? We'll find another doctor or another therapist until it does, then. It's not going to be that easy, though. I know, I know. But I'm never going to give up on you, and so I don't care how long it takes. You're so, sh you're so selfless in how much you care for others, but I want you to be happy. Don't I really deserve it, though? If other people deserve happiness, why don't you, Siori? Just ask yourself that. Please, for me, okay, for you. It feels the way it has been with a lot more shoulder finality. I, I feel like I'm not long trying to help Siori anymore. I know it must be, must be a really difficult thing to agree with, but I'm really proud of you. You're much braver than you've realized. Although, I haven't been too pushy or anything, have I? I want to encourage you, not force you. It's something that I would have tried sooner or later, I guess. While there's always a chance of therapy, my fellow again, it's also the only way I can help potentially get bigger. See, that's the spirit. She doesn't look, we're, we're wholly convinced, but she smiles anyway. I'll do it for you, Colton. I'm not going to hold my breath, but if it makes you happy, I'll give it a try. That's all I can ask for right now. It means a lot that you'll be willing to try again. Well, let's hope this time it'll work a little better. Anyway, I'll talk to my doctor tomorrow. Sounds like a plan. Oh shit, there's a toys. Oh god. What is the right answer? I have to remember. I'm gonna have to look that up. I'm gonna have to look that up real quick. Give me just a minute. A few moments later. Okay, I looked it up and it said offer her to offer to join her at therapy. So I'm gonna go with that and hope to God this is the right choice. Oh, and Sayori, I can come with you to therapy sessions if you want. Are you sure? Will they let you? I think so. I mean, if you tell them you're okay with it, I don't see why not. Just keep me updated. I wouldn't want to miss your first session. Okay, then. And thank you. It's kind of daunting to start, so having you around should help me make it much easier. I'm just glad that it can help. What's this going to be about? Next day, before I knew the weekend was already wrapped, but a few days since she already agreed to get therapy. With the slight nudge, she spoke to her doctor who managed to arrange a specialty therapy session tomorrow. As I relieved to see a more speedy response, I'm still fairly a, a princess. Seeing how perfectly her condition is interfered with her ability to get homework done, trusting herself to progression, it would be daunting, I can't lie, but seeing how serious the pressure is, I'm stalking my system. Now, part of me worries that somehow me getting the ball actually bad thing, perhaps I'm making, making it more complicated. Do I really know what I'm getting into here? No, Colton, don't listen to that serious, irrational side. Look at look at the pause if she agreed to have some help in the first recovery. Yeah, that's true. Plus, I'm going to be with her, so at least make it a step together. It should be fine. Ah, uh, being the chronic overworrying is a curse. Being with Siri really makes me happy. It's best to focus on that stuff we can go about. Because if I can suddenly focus on the negative, well, that's no good for anyone. Stay positive, optimistic outlook, Colton. Optimistic outlook. I have to complete my morning when I find myself in the kitchen to know how I spend the day. One of the drawbacks of your first relationship you didn't really know how much to be with your partner. It's still cold to spend some time outdoors, so they're limited indoors. I check my watch. It's 10:14. Pretty early, sir. Wouldn't wouldn't even be a week yet. As I guess the sadly you to for me, it hits me. Oh, I'm sure I would love this. About half an hour later, my work is done and carefully placing into a bag. I make my, make a trip over to her room, hoping she's still asleep. As I was done, she's fast asleep. Mr. Bryce give it, it's even 11 yet. Yeah. As I approach her, I'm stuck how cute she is when she's being asleep. Wait, that didn't sound super creepy. Super creepy. I mentally, I mentally chastised it myself. Stop being so weird, Colton. By the way, she's curled up into a ball. Even when her hair being the method slightly trickled, you really can her out. She's perfect. I don't think there's any way a girl could ever look look any less than beautiful. The light, the sounds of her snoring, smiled in my health for granted. Settling down the bag, I quickly walk in and gently brush the lock of her hair that fall, fall into her mouth. She stirs slightly, she stirs slightly, and her hand brushes against her forehead. Wakey, wakey, sleepy head, eggs and bacon. Hmm, five more minutes. I made your breakfast. She quickly sits up and was where I hugged in the blanket covered her. You didn't have to, Cola. I can't help but feel this one as I'm irritated by her reaction. I was really looking forward to seeing how excited she'd be. What time is it? Uh, 11. You know, she pushes the cover and sits up. She looks quite tired. She grinningly opens the bag and forces a smile there. You can thank your dear sunshine poem for this progression, especially that last line. God, I'm so selfish. I have such a thoughtful boyfriend who's super considerate and makes me breakfast in bed. I can't even thank you properly. You went through this. You went through all this just for me. Anyone else would be super appreciative of you here in a couple of minutes. Huh, no, it's not like that at all. I mean, yeah, I was hoping you'd be a little more happy to see this, but... Well, it's kind of forgetting how difficult mornings can be for you. Don't worry about it. I can tell how my words haven't convinced her in the slightest. And I don't get the feeling you don't want me here. Relax. She slowly starts chewing on the food. This is really good. It's pretty basic stuff, to be honest. But I'm glad you like it. Natsuki's cooking has nothing on me, but you can see. 
How is it that you can make me laugh even when it's the last thing I want to do? Magic, I think, maybe why I'm comed maybe it was a comedian in my past life. It's a question that scientists have been trying to convince at the past hundred years. By the way, can we just have a lazy day today? I don't really feel like going outside or anything. Fine by me. After our session, we made our way back to mine. We pretty much resumed standing activities, coloring on the cell phone. Maybe our early, maybe earlier, my words were unfounded. We're both convinced she's just being a regardless of the activity. I am just thinking through the movie channel and I bought my phone. Hi, Colton. You read not now. What's up? Oh, not much. Yuri carry, carries on her type and she's taking an awful long time to plot. I get the feeling she's plugging up the curse to ask me something. Well, I was wondering. Go on. Would you like to discuss that book with me today? Oh, I haven't read much of it, to be honest. I think the movie version's on Netflix, so hang on, let me check. What's up? Oh, you know that book Larry I remember was trying to see if it was on Netflix. We're going to have a horror night? Well, I told Yuri I let her know my thoughts on the book, but I haven't really read enough of to really discuss it. But if I can find it on Netflix, I thought I can see we watched it together instead. Here it is. Oh, are you okay with that? Of course. i will be a terrible friend if I stopped her from having her, from her coming over. Other people usually have a tough time, so she sticks her attention to the television and one smile on her face. Uh, I figured that you'd be. If, I figured that if you were here too, you wouldn't feel like I was like I don't know leaving you out or anything. It's fine, Colton. Dear God, that clown looks even uglier on the big screen. I never liked clowns. Oh, oh, it's Stephen King. You were doing it. I thought it was fucking Scooby Doo. My dumbass fuck. You're not doing the new it. God damn it. Fucking moron. Good news. I found you can come over. Sorry, he's here too, by the way. Are you sure that I'm gonna be interrupting anything? Nah, she's fine with it. It's all good. A text later. Yuri's wa wa waiting out to my four book in hand. Hi, Colton. See you already in the living room. Good afternoon. Thank you for suggesting. Suggesting this, by the way. Have you seen the movie version yet? M yeah, we neither have we. Should be interesting. Uh huh. Hey, Yuri. Yuri smiles and greedy. I've heard good things about the film adaption, so I'm hopeful this will be enjoyable. Only one way to find out. <laughs> I predict the story. Yuri is a massive chicken jumping to every loud noise, especially noise. On the other hand, Yuri seemed totally engrossed in the movie, never once looking away during the ominous scene. For the most part, it's difficult to read your face, but she merely firmly and passive. Although I look to wonder how interest occasionally flickers across the their faces, especially when the monster is on screen. It's definitely one of the best horror movies I ever read. Granted, there isn't saying much. I haven't seen too many. I have to admit that acting in the film was really sells it. Both the kind of the young kids or serves the protagonist are bought really well. Oh no, please don't tell me they're going to have a creep going in the creepy building. Well, why would you go in there? It does not matter waiting to happen. She ducks behind the kitchen, peering in. First introduced. I laugh and pull her closer. She calls into my sword, turning the fairy you can see. Out of the corner, I catch Yuri quickly. I throw a glance from her. She, she looks a little sad. I can lose completely. I forgot to isolate Yuri. I'm watching Yuri and I cut out of the painful reminder. Especially Yuri predicts how much Yuri feels about me. True. Aww. About an hour later, the movie's over. We're finally interesting to hear Yuri's thoughts. Not just in the movie, but the horror genre as well. And that's something I admire about the book and the movie. How about your first movie for fear? A lot of the film adaption books trying to stay over sessions, content, many horror novels are really cheap jumps. Scares to a click inflection. Of course, there's nothing really into the wrong with a jump scare, but I find the best horror tends to get under your skin that makes you think. Well, after you finish. Yeah, I agree. Jump scares just really annoy me. They startle you, sure, but they can build, they can just build on tense. From what I've seen in horror, horror makes usually less something from what's coming up. The music goes really quite really a spooky as character in our play. In Daily Sally, it's quite common to curl with the modern just imagination. I can't help but notice that you're always being quiet with your attention I have. You okay, Siri? Hmm, I don't really have much to say. You can carry on. I'm fine. Look at the bad down on the screen. It's unfortunate that the second part of the movie isn't out yet. We'll be looking to help the rainbow. Good luck. That movie, it chapter two. <laughs> that movie's almost fucking three hours long. So y'all go enjoy that. I saw the movie in theaters. I thought it would never fucking end. The second part is about how the characters come back to fight the con of the belts, right? Indeed. And that's how the plot really shines. Anyway, I'll have some errands to begin once I'm going to have to leave. Thank you for both. By the way, I really appreciate it. That's okay, Yuri. I hope you get feeling better. Yuri turns to me. Oh, did you tell her? My face grows hot. There's nothing going on between Yuri told her the Yuri's confession was comforted. Oh, damn. Yeah, sorry. Yuri, I didn't think. Didn't realize it was private. It's okay. I suppose it's only fair that we're clear for the clarity between you two people are in relationships. Well, I'm glad Yuri's so understanding. Anyway, I'll see you two on Monday. Goodbye. See ya. Bye, Yuri. As Yuri leaves, I turn to see her. She's looking a little rueful. I hope you were right about therapy, Colton. I'm dragging tomorrow. It's going to be just fine. Don't worry. I hope I should probably get going as well. I'll see you tomorrow. With a wave to the parts as well. Oh man. Damn. Fucking shit. I'm not looking forward to the therapy. Their last therapy session on my back was in March and it did not go well.
As my eye can't help, as my uh, do they well. I can only imagine how nervous Siri is. It's such a big step for her. I just hope it goes well. Hey Siri, are you ready to get going? Yeah. She's a little quiet and not as chipper as she usually is. The journey to the clinic is a quiet one. Thankfully, it's about a short walk away. Well, that was an interesting. Our therapist was incredibly patient. But well, damn, shortest therapy session ever. He spent majority of the session going to the pictures of current life situation with Shora's family compliment. I think that after she told her about the depression, it might have been a little bit easier to talk about it. The first option to be a cafe She didn't look entirely comfortable, but after a few insurance files, she was able to question. The session passed really quickly before I knew it, it was already over. Sierra was proud as she breaks the sound. I've heard a few full stories about people who get really intense therapy. I was really scared to become one of them, but it was really patient so it could be a lot worse. She chills off from the siren. I'm really proud of you, Sierra. I knew that it must be really hard for you to do, but with that confusion all it can be, it really does make me happy that you're doing this. I'm glad to hear that, Colton. I really am. By the way, can we spend the rest of the day together? I don't want to go home just yet. Of course we can't. Cuddle me up to the couch it is. Yay! I have to swing him out of the shops to get to the we find ourselves back in our typical cuddling spot. It's rather quiet between us, like even I suppose a bit therapy session there's a lot we can take from both of us. Tagging along the session, I raised so many questions in my mind. Now, this is the best time to ask him, though. Hey, Siori. Yeah? Why don't we play something? We don't have enough people to play a board game, though. No, I mean, like, remember we used to play video games together, like, when we were kids? I've always found video games really is a good way to escape reality. Last year, when I was really lonely, I found it helpful, like, helpful, helpful to take my mind off things. Plus, there's some games that I haven't really think you might enjoy. She sits up. Sure, that could be fun. What games are you thinking of? As it turns out, I still have some of those games we used to play. Do you remember Banjo Kazooie? Oh, the little, the little bear. Ah, uh -huh, yep, that's one. Let's give it a whirl. As I was hoping the game was proven to be wonderful to get her mind off of therapy, she truly lost in control and first at war with her first bunch of determination. At the first, she wasn't very good at the game, struggling with the controls and get lost, and generally being unsure what she meant to do. Although a few pointers from me, she really started to pick up and was really get the hang of it. Siri can be really good at things when she puts her mind to it, and you can't leave high skills and patiently cancer if you start off to give up. Aha! I knew you'd find the jigsaw piece there. I laugh, she's given, she has a grieving to. It's even hard when the see you so happy, she's just be able to really give enough to beat Siri's smile. You'll never know just how cute you are, Siri. Huh? Just seeing you happy makes me so happy, and I swear that nothing will ever change you. Aww. I'm not, not that I'm complaining or anything, but where did all this come from? Truth be told, I'm not really sure. Being with her in the therapy room was just uh, the difference because, well, because it was really dawning on me because she has depression, and this could be someone to deal with alone. Of course, I believe when or when she said that the depression, depression was back in November, while well, meeting the therapist and watching him do his job really drove me to the point. I'm obviously glad she's seeking help, but it made me think. She's been depressed for this long and only recently came back in her life. So what was it like her life? and probably before I often super lonely. Colton, are you sure you're looking kind of sad? What's up? Her bright smile does nothing but reveal. I'm sorry, Siri. What are you sorry for, silly? We're only probably begun to hang out not that long ago, right? In September? Yeah? She pauses the game with such a control down to the urgent situation. And you've been depressed for so many years. But I wasn't there for you. We drifted apart all because of what? Because I was an idiot for processing Jamin and anime over you? I can't imagine how hard things are when you're really talking. Colton, none of that is your fault. She generally takes my hand in hers. And part of me thinks that, well, I had more than an effort to win you back then. Perhaps you I was drifting the park because of me being depressed, Colton. Truthfully, I didn't I didn't don't really know why I developed my depression. There's a lot I feel about my condition, but I don't know to the very reason. That's why the doctor said the last time that's why my doctor said the last time I tried therapy. So please don't ever think you're so, someone contributed by depression, okay? You're like the polar opposite. When I'm with you, I'm happy. You make me feel like I'm actually worth something even though my brain tries to tell me really hard that you're lying. Yeah, but what that's was that was that's in the present. What about your past? When there are you we didn't hang out at all. I actually had this conversation with Monica once. <laughs> it's normal for friendships to be like that, I think. You can go a long time without talking to someone, but if you reconnect with them, you both get along as nothing ever happened. Did anything really change that positive what you remember? I guess she does have a point. Finally in the month. She reaches over and strokes my hair and face, gently lifting up my chin to make white eye contact. The way I see we get along just as well as we did as we were kids. Besides, what would happen in the past? If anything, time apart, maybe I spend more time. Well, I'm really glad you find that way, Sierra. I really am. It's just while well, you're going to therapy, you didn't even realize how much really depression and that reflects the absence in your life. I didn't mention the spring out this on you in the blue night, though. Especially when you wanted to take your mind off of therapy. It was pretty inconsiderate of me. It's okay. I really is. I'm just glad that we can talk talk these out, you know. You've been really patient with me. It's the least I could do for you. As much as I'd rather we talk about whatever bothers you is bottling up. After all, bottles are meant to be shared, right? I can't help but laugh. That was clever. If you say so, I do. Seriously, Colin, please don't blame yourself for anything, okay? I'll be much happier ever since you came back in my, in my life. 
I wouldn't have gone gone to therapy if you weren't if you were if it weren't for me. And like you said, while I agree it's a big step to take, there's a fair way leading to rise upon the next words. I've gone so many years thinking this was something I had to do there alone, but I had no idea it was nice to have you go through this by myself. She squeezes my hand. Besides, we can't really change the past, can we? I guess you're right. You really have such a big heart, you know that nothing else, nothing changed that. And that's never going to change. In moments like this where you can bring a warm, fuzzy feeling inside of me, I never felt like this before, but it feels so right. Now, I think we have some jigsaw to collect. Of course, let's begin to the game, shall we? She reaches for the controller and starts playing the video game. Within seconds, we're whisked away into the world of childhood memories. The fell of the warmth of my arm sounded like this and stopped her parallel hair. The little voice of guilt, voice of guilt remains, but it's still easier to ignore. Wow, it's super late already. And tomorrow's a school day as well. No oh, fun. Tell me about it. Monday mornings are the absolute worst. Not even Sakuri can save me. I just want another break. We'll just have, we'll ju we just had our Christmas one. I know, I know. Oh well. Anyway, I should get going. Oh, I'll leave it so soon. My Tim pull and a puppy dog cause her to laugh and shake her head. But it's late. I reach her and pull her and embrace the family Tim comfortably and push her back down the sofa wrap my arms rally around her body. No, no, you're falling, you're falling in my guard trap. Now there's no way to take. Ah, you caught me. Whatever, whatever can I do? Nothing, my master playing the fully for it. Is it Ciari for Oh, what are you? Or let's meet mine and I immediately be taken away to another one. Man, it's almost scary having this situation whenever we get. No fair. Are you complaining? If you do, if you prefer, I could just. Her tone is innocent and playful. No, not kiss you again? Hey, I didn't say that. I like that winky face. Okay, okay. You win. But there's but there's one thing you didn't prepare for. And what could that be? I click the boop on the nose. Boop. Nah. Are you stupid sneaky bright sneaky boops aren't allowed? But what surprise? But surprise sneak, sneaky kisses are you having a trap of a self defense? So is my boot. This isn't over, meanie. Looking forward to a rematch then. I reached over and checked my phone. It's almost been there. As much as I hate you, man, we should probably call it a day. Although, having said that, an idea popped in my mind. Okay, Stiori, how about? <laughs> Ooh, here's another choice. Stay the night. That's that's the option. Stay the night. Um, why don't you stay the night? Eh, here. That way we can make breakfast tomorrow before heading this hole. Ooh. I didn't think of that. Where would we sleep, though? Well, I was thinking I could take the sofa and I can, you can have my bed. No, uh there's no way I'm letting that happen. You can sleep with me. There's an awkward silence for us. I may certainly be convinced, but the fact is your hasn't really had to pay the work. Uh, oh, sorry. I didn't mean it like that. You're all a couple. It's fine. You know what I meant. Anyway, I'm just going to get my stuff from my place and I'll be back in a second. All right. After completing my bedtime preparations, I really slid to bed thinking about the conversation that took place today. There's been a lot I take ever since you became my girlfriend. There's always been a nagging voice I'm getting into. Going to the therapy has helped this friend that worry today, even though it's really deep sweet, but I'm hoping that doesn't change. Eventually, I hear a click at the front door, following my footsteps. I'm just gonna get changed and now I'll join you. It's your approach to the bed, I can't help but notice how she looks. Her, how nice her legs look in those shorts. Won't you be cold in those pajamas? Nope! I have you to warm me up, remember? I'm suddenly very grateful that I have a blanket covering my body. <laughs> she slides next to me, pulling the blanket over slowly, so. I'm headed to the kitchen, I'll cover below my chest. Pressing on her head, she looked up and for a minute and kicked the cookie door. Such a pony can you hear her heartbeat. And pressing and warm again, I'm probably can sure. She can tell me warm, but isn't always bearing the slightest. Oh, and this rubbed my lungs warm body and faces her hair. Good night, Siori. I plan to kiss on her forehead. Good night, Colton. Suddenly, I'll, okay, I'm gonna end the video here. I'm gonna end the video here. Uh, go to the next page. I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you guys a lot for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you hit a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, check my social medias down below. As always, thank you guys a lot for watching, and I'll see you all in a future video. Take it easy.